Welcome back, my dear student. In this lecture, I wanted to explain to you in a very, very easy format what cold igniter actually is. I don't want to overcomplicate things, really. Cold igniter is just a framework. It's just a file with a bunch of classes and functions and, and many other things in there that just makes things easier for us, all right? These functions are already predefined for us. All right. Even though PHP already predefined a whole bunch of functions to make it easier for us, Cold Igniter is actually another file that we can use with many classes, many even properties, objects that we can use with PHP together to write code a lot easier, to make code more flexible, to make code more secure. All right, so let me actually show you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to my best friend right here, which is Google. All right, I'm going to click on this tab right here because I think I already visited this. All right, so this is the coldigniter.com website right here. This is the website. All right, we can download the coldigniter from here, read the manual, view the forums, or even go on GitHub from here, right? We can do a couple of things. One of your best friends besides Google right now at this point, this is my best friend, maybe they'll I'll change it later on. But one of my best friends is documentation. All right? This will tell you everything you need to do to know about anything. So you click on documentation and you go and view the user guide right here. All right? Maybe in the future they'll change it, but you can always find documentation for any framework in their page. And anything you want will be here on the right side. You can search on it like this, database, enter, and then you can read about anything you want, right? Now, let's go and find out a little bit about what MVC actually is. Cold Igniter is not hard to get, all right? So I'm going to type in Cold Igniter Overview MVC. I'm going to click on this first link. But before I do that, know that Cold Igniter, all right, is one of the most popular frameworks out there, and that's why I'm making this course. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to explain to you all this content that they are actually making a little bit more complicated than what actually is. So model view controller or MVC means that we're separating the logic from presentation. All right. We're separating all those really advanced code from that user presentation from the page, from the HTML page. All right. So for for instance, this press, this page right here could be a view, all right. And if I click on a button right here, this this will co could communicate and will communicate with a model and with a controller. Now I know you don't understand exactly what I just said right now. I'm just giving you some general information before I explain it to you, all right. So we start with the model. Model is a folder in this framework, which I'm going to show you in a minute, that will contain all the classes that will do things that will communicate with our database, all right? So we could have a user model, we could have a form model, we could have many different models. Those models would be classes, and inside those classes we will have functions, of course, right? And properties and all that, all right? So basically what this whole framework is doing is separating these classes from the view classes and from the controller classes. Now the view classes are going to be classes in charge of presenting the HTML code, right? These are going to be f functions and you know properties, whatever. All right, these files are going to be what you see, all right, out there like the header, the footer, you know, any web page. You can think of this will be in the views folder and I'll show you that in a minute of course now the controller and we're gonna be using this a lot along with the model if we use databases is basically the middleman the controller will be where we will write our functions our my uh, primary functions and we will say something like I want you to show me a web page all right I want you to show me a view all right but at the same time I also want to get some information from a model, all right, and then transfer it to a view. So this is going to be the controller. This is going to control everything. It's going to control the views and it's going to control the models, the databases and the web pages 
and that's all all right don't overcomplicate it don't think this is uh, uh you know science fiction or whatever this is very simple it's just that they divided this all right into this structure web pages into databases web pages and the main functions that control this too all right and you're gonna see and all you have to learn basically is the syntax is the way is the way we write functions and things like that in the cold igniter and this is why I created this course because I'm going to show you how to actually I'm going to show you the syntax that cold igniter uses to communicate with this to get views to get models and to use controllers all right we're gonna be using all these three very very soon and I'm gonna show you how to use it all right so Anyway, I think I'm done explaining to you, giving you the general information about what Code Igniter is and what MVC really is. All right? So basically, if you want to leave with some information out of this lecture here, just know that basically Model View Controller or MVC framework is just a separation, all right, of your code into these three different categories models, views, and controllers. All right? And that's all. And you're going to see this in the file structure in the upcoming lecture. Thank you so much, and I'll see you then. Take care.